Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. So I think it's uh, it's been several months since we uploaded a video in this uh, particular channel. But um, yeah, we're here and I'm just going to share something for you. So this is what I have been working on for the past few months. And this is, or maybe not months, but few weeks. Uh, this is a... Um, inventory system and also a payroll system so I'm just going to show you and uh, guide you through all the the features that I, I have added here actually this is not yet complete so this is I think 80% of what the projects should look like so let's just uh, lag out for now and I'm going to show you first from the lag in and then um, to the other features as well so try to log in and then if the user name and password combination not found so it should give us an error so something like that and then log in so successful and it should redirect us into this uh, dashboard so as you can see here we have different options in different menus and we can find it on our sidebar for our stocks inventory attendance we also have uh, option to add suppliers okay we also have option to add employees and manage employees we also have features for our uh, customer purchase orders we also have payment accounts we also have the uh, payroll or payslip okay so the first one is this stacks inventory so as you can see we have few options here if we have new delivery right okay so this will be the first uh, user interface that we see and this is where we a uh, process of stacking in our uh, products in our uh, inventory so we can choose a supplier so for example uh, supplier here okay and then also have we also have sales agents so for example joy okay new this will be a new delivery delivery number we'll just have to input a number here and terms okay so this will be like 60 days or the payment term is 60 days date of delivery is um, let's uh, let's say January 20 and contact number and we can choose a product here and or we can also create an item so try let's try that create an item so barcode and then dummy product the unit is say for example uh, case Buying price is 150, retail price is 170, and selling price 150. So add item, and it should be added here. So, so for example, the, the delivery um, has like 50 items for that particular product. So it will uh, automatically calculate the total amount due. So selling price per uh, product is 170 then let us just say the expiration will be January or March or April April 9 2021 and add another product so we can choose here then 20 for this so we do have the selling price as empty for now and then uh, maybe 2021 again okay and then save well we need to fill up all the fields because for this we also have to fill up the taxes so for example just this is just an example guys on how this uh, inventory works okay so then save 
and delivery added and then we can say the details here all the products that have been delivered to, the, to this particular store and all the details are here the agent and the company date of delivery and delivery number so after that we can see here this product that are in stock so we have here the dummy product okay the delivered uh, dummy product 50 and then 20 of course when we stack in we can also stack out right so we should have an option to stack out so we can choose the name of the employee the remarks so, so for example just choose one here remarks okay the date of stack out is 21 store and then select a product so we can see here the quantity so in stack is 50 so maybe we could pull out like five of that particular product so save so success product check out successfully and also we can see the history of all those check out or stack out so like five here we uh, stack out five items of this particular product and of course these are the barcodes and another feature is this attendance we can set or add attendance here by selecting the branch and of course the date of the attendance okay select and then we can choose to uh, say absent or present and then half day and then save changes so attendance added so it should be added to our database and we will be able to count the attendance for a certain employee for for a given uh, period of time so for, so for example january 1 to 15 and january 16 to 30 so we should be able to do that and that will matter into our pay slip so again i'm going to show you later on on uh how the payslip looks like so again we can add supplier here so all the information name address and tin and then we can see here all the suppliers that we have added we can also add employees okay so all uh, all information first name middle name last name address contact number and other informations that are needed so purchase order we can also see here the order or those accounts that have been uh, ordered by the customers so say for example they have uh, ordered few products okay and they haven't paid yet the the product so there will be status here if unpaid or paid so we can change this to unpaid and then the total will be updated as well so here so those rows that uh, colored green means that the status of that is paid and while the red means unpaid we also have here the um, payment accounts meaning all those expenses uh, for the store so, so for example the bills or the payment for delivery something like that and lastly we have the payroll okay and then we can create payslip so in here we can choose or select a certain uh, employee and then choose the year and then month and then the periods so for example because when we're trying to create a payroll there will be a period of the, the most common way is uh, every 15 days so we have period of 1 to 15 and 16 to 30 or 31 so that's why so we need to select like that or uh, 16 to 30 something like that and select and in here we can have the uh, rate so, so for example uh, he attended like uh, 10 15 uh, working days so it should be able to calculate all the earnings total deductions and then the net salary meaning net salary is the uh, 
difference between the earnings and total deductions. So total deductions are, are here. So 137, 60, or this, these are the breakdown of the deductions. And also we have to input comment and then let's try to say okay. And then create pay slip. Then okay. And in here or in our pay slip list, we can uh, select the branch and then um, the year, month, and then the period. 1 to 15, something like that. And we can see all the inf uh, the employee and all the breakdown, the summary of the pay slip. The rate, number of days, overtime, basic salary, and other deductions. And then, of course, we can view this. And here, the details of the payslip. And we can print this. Okay. And there you go. Uh, we can print this. So we can have the actual file of this particular payslip. So I think that's it for this uh, video and if you want tutorial on how to create this um, project, let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching.